A suspected hit and run victim fighting for his life tonight. CBS 21 News helps police track down his family. We're glad you're with us at 6. I'm Rob Hanrahan. And I'm Tanya Foster. This man you see behind us has been unconscious since he was found in Harrisburg and police haven't been able to identify him. CBS 21's Donna Kirker Morgan explaining how she found his family. She's live in Harrisburg with the details. Amazing story, Donna. I just feel so blessed to be a part of reuniting this family with this man. He was found unconscious here at uh, this street, Paxton and 17th, early Sunday morning. And police today put out this photo. So I just began showing it around and take a look what happened. My journey started on Paxton Street where this man was found and has yet to gain consciousness. It has something to do with right here on this corner. Okay. On 17th Street, we talked to James Bryant. He remembers the commotion Sunday morning, but did not recognize the man's face. He didn't yeah. die, did he? No, they're trying to identify him. They can't figure out who he is. I have no clue. Police say he may be a hit and run victim between the age of 40 and 50, possibly white or Hispanic and police have been able to find people who recognize him in Allison Hill. So that's where we went next. He hasn't come to consciousness, and so they don't know who he is. Yeah. Nothing familiar to you? How are you? Uh, our next stop was St. Francis of Assisi, and incredibly... There are some relatives here, they're looking for him. <gasps> no! Probably. Oh my gosh! That's what it is. Oh my gosh, I just got chills. I received a phone call this, this just uh, like an hour ago oh, about this person that is missing. And so there were some. Uh, oh okay. my gosh, I hope it's him. Okay. Oh my god. Of course I knew who to come to. And Father Riaz uh, called me at 4 o'clock today to tell me that it was the person that he thought and that he is with the family at the hospital as our police. Reporting live, you don't get these stories too often in Harrisburg. Donna Kirk Morgan, back to you. Amazing work, Donna. Thank you so much for that report.